trap, and Trill can reverse it. They can sort of just rotate that to get Sidu out of crowd control as often as possible. In the meantime, Sam Iams can be able to put out a lot of control on that Moonkin with the root beams over on the Milkman. I'm curious, Milkman's actually not playing Gnome, so it didn't really anticipate this composition. The other thing to take into account is that the Honor Talent Spirit Link was nerfed heavily, so they don't have that advantage against jungle. And Moonkins are very susceptible against jungle to just getting annihilated. So we see Dilly has opted to run the Diamond Ice Trap as he was predicting Trill to play Reverse Magic, and Trill mind read him to play that, so Trill isn't even playing Reverse Magic. So Dilly actually just loses out on a couple seconds of Trap because Trill expected a result that Tilly, Dilly would decide in the waiting room. That's a really next level mind game there by both teams. Yeah, Milkman pushing in. He wanted to land a Fear over onto Sidu. Sidu managed to get away though. Sam I am still putting out incredible pressure onto both Cy Foxy and Dilly. You can see they both do not have a trinket. So the next time Trill lands some stuns with the Chaos Nova, the Fell Eruption, now they're not going to be able to get out of that. There's a full trap secured over on the Sea-Doo. Sam I am could be in some trouble. Still has most of his defensives, and it looks like Trill doesn't want to mess around. He's just going to drop the Darkness to sort of negate the CC chain that Cascazinos was able to put out. Darkness is a team defensive cooldown. It's three-minute cooldown. It trades quite effectively with offensive three-minute cooldown, such as Cy Fox's Incarnation, which was activated. But Incarn lasts a lot longer, so you're seeing the momentum of that on the back of this. Sea-Doo has to pop Ascendance to recover. Good teamwork from Dilly getting Milkman out of that silence, but Sam I am follows it up with a Cyclone, putting Cy Fox Foxy further behind. Milkman trying to recover, but look at that mana bar, Ven, right now. And Milkman, he's almost tapped. Yeah, that's not the best place to be in against a player like Trill and Sam I Am. That We've mana rift. Out crazy pressure in the past. And if he's running the mana rift, he's going to be able to burn Milkman's mana. Every time he's caught there, he can put a little circle on the ground. And once that expires, it basically explodes and drains mana from Milkman. That's why he's just on such a timer. They have to win quickly, but Methadorn so far, they've been doing a good job rotating their defenses. In this moment, though, they're actually a little bit vulnerable. No bark skin, no trinket from Sam I Am. There's a full trap over on the Sea-Doo. Trill gets bashed up. Are they going after him? A lot of burst over on the Trill. He needs to get that blur off as soon as possible. Activate it, and I think that's going to be enough to keep him alive. Psychic Scream on Sea-Doo, but the crowd control chain is just so far diminished because Dilly's running that honor talent. He was expecting the Demon Hunter to play Reverse Magic, which would remove his other Freezing Trap completely. But Trill expected that and isn't even playing it, so they just lose three seconds on their crowd control chain. It doesn't seem to be long enough to really force a kill. Perhaps Trill is ultimately the kill target moving forward. We're we'll have to wait and see how Casca's Angels want to play this out. BlizzCon on the line. Good pressure right now on Sam I Am. He diffuses the situation with a Cyclone on Dilly. Stun on Sidu. They need more crowd control here if they want to take down Method Orange in game number one. Good follow-up. Nice execution. Sam I Am dips low. Lower and lower trades out. He's likely to recover now as CD breaks out of crowd control. That earthen wall totem protecting Sam I Am, but it's a two for one. Now they swap to Trill. He's outside of the totem. He's inches away. He ducks into the totem for the damage reduction, barely staying alive. Milkman's completely tapped on mana. They've only got a couple more seconds to nail a kill, Ven. Yeah, Trill needs to kite. He needs to get away. Blur's just coming up now. CD finally out of the CC chain. Milkman caught into the full cyclone. Cy Fox, he's in a lot of trouble. Sam I Am wants to get aggressive. He trinkets out of the stun. Wants to keep this pressure and momentum rolling for his team. Trill still a little bit vulnerable, though. See, you might have to preemptively drop the Spearling Totem on the next stun. Root Beam on the Milkman, and Cy Foxy gets taken down. Method Orange proving that this composition hit still works. I mean, Method Orange, they just read Casca's Angels like a book, right? Like, they bring in the Moonkin, Casca's Angels don't have the gnome. Dilly's trying to preempt the reverse magic by playing Diamond Ice, but Trill's somewhere in Master. Over to being a top tier PvP for this tournament. This man knows no limits as we go into game two. Ah, I see what you did there, because he's getting in his limit. Okay. <laughs> Dilly sneaking across the map in camouflage, netting up Trill, looking to find a target. May just want to try and trap adaptation right away. He's not playing reverse and he's running the full duration freezing trap. So Dilly wins the mind game here. He's gonna get three extra seconds on these crowd control chains and even three seconds can nail them kills. Yep, there's a root beam over on a milkman once again. Sam I am taking a little bit of pressure. In the meantime, Dilly Food taking a little, a little cleave. Sam I am decided to pull the trigger with his incarnation, wants to get the damage rolling. You can see there's the stun into the mana rift. So Milkman is going to get a little bit of a mana burn there, but you can see he's actually playing relatively efficiently at this point, but there's really not too much you can do about it as the game extends late. He's also a gnome, so now yeah. he doesn't need to rely on Dilly to get him out of root solar beams. He can get out of every single one by himself. And now he's moving in to get a psychic scream out of this freezing trap. Good timing. Darkness traded. One for one on that Berserk. Cy Fox is actually not running Incarn, so he's looking for more sustained damage with Soul of the Forest. And 
He's got a huge burst window despite that. Sam, I am dipping dangerously low here. This could be a Spearling Totem. Cedar's trying to hold onto it and play it greedy. Cyclones should stall out the damage long enough for Cedar to allow himself to get move through that. But with the three extra seconds on that freezing trap, with Cyfoxy running more sustained damage in this build, I think this is a much better setup for Casca's Angel strategically. Well, it just makes sense. Trill was just dropping the darkness on the Incarnation, negating so much of that damage. So now it's not an efficient trade for them. Trill getting bursted down. Fear on Cedar. They had no way to get out of it. It might be able to take Trill down. Nice double chaos, Nova. Spirit Link gets dropped out and descendants. Casca's Angels, this map working out quite well for them as they generate a lot of pressure. Okay, Cedar's got no adaptation, no bark skin. If they can get a freezing trap into a psychic scream, they can kill Sam I am here in these next couple seconds. But Cyfox is on the back foot and forced to run away. Sometimes offense is the best defense. If you force your opponents to run away, they can't push forward. Dilly lands a crowd control. Cyfoxy jumps in. They need to net a kill in this window. But Milkman gets imprisoned. They need to stall Milkman a little bit longer. He's trying to cross. He gets bashed for one second. Milkman needs to get there. Sidu, is he going to pre-tremor the fear? He pre-tremors. Milkman fears into it. Nice play by Sidu. Yeah, he got the earthen shield totem down as well. So Sam I am trail. They're not going to be taking much damage while that is down. In the meantime, though, look at Milkman's mana. It is not doing well. Cyclone on Dilly. He has no trinket. Cyfoxy getting low as well. This is really where you can see Method Orange damage sinking into the team of Casca's Angels. There's the stun into Fell Eruption. Milkman, he is running out of time. He's running on fumes. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's not looking good for Casca's Angels. That was their window of opportunity, but Method Orange stalled it out. Cedar with a nice outplay, and this should be netting them a win here unless a miracle kill. Tons of damage on Samayam at the moment. Milkman gets out of the solar beam, but he was interrupted. Samayam adapted Adapting to the fact that Milkman is playing Gnome, using the Solar Beam to interrupt the cast rather than blanket it, which is a smart adaptation. Cedar's still crowd control, but Cyfox, he's low. Milkman's got no mana. He can basically only use Smite and Penance, but that's not a lot to heal through the damage of Trill, the highest damage dealer in PvP, period. Cyfox, he ducks for cover, but gets wintered by Cedu as Method Orange closes in for the kill, moving to match point. A better game from Casca's Angels, but it's not enough to beat the champions. Method Orange advancing 2-0 in the series onto match point. One game away from locking Casca's Angels down to the lower bracket from Championship Sunday. Yeah, let's see if Casca's Angels can do it. You can see Milkman, he's playing Dark Archangel this game. So that's what we're talking about. They need to play hyper aggressive if they want to break down through those defensive cooldowns. Full trap over on Decidu, immediately used the adaptation. He has no real choice. It's an automatic trinket, but that's one uh, thing Casca's Angels that had to get that out of the way in order to secure a kill. Bash Cyclone, Sam Man pulls the trigger on Incarnation. Cyfox, he gets caught in a double stun by Trill. Huge damage from Method Orange potentially here. Cyfoxy denies it. Gets Cycloned at low health though. Sam I am on fire with these plays early on. Sidu repositions far away, moving corner to corner on this map. He wants to be on the opposite corner from Milkman, so he has to walk the furthest distance. Now Milkman needs to make his way. He's got the feather. He needs to get slowed down. He gets imprisoned. Good teamwork from Trill. Now they pop that aggressively to turn the tables. Mana Rift actually gets missed there by Trill. That is a miss play. Sam I am! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a huge amount of damage. Darkness is going to save him, but that was a close call. Yeah, that wasn't even the Dark Archangel, so they still have that available. Maybe just waiting to pull the trigger, so Method Orange is sort of gets taken by surprise by the additional damage. So you do, Adaptation's going to be coming back up. Dilly has to get that out of the way, and then once again, Casca's Angels can strike with a full trap into full fear. That's the combo that they need. Full maim now. Sam I am still taking quite a bit of damage. You can see Cyfoxy looking to get very aggressive. They get the full trap. So you do uses the adaptation. That's going to be the ascendance as well. Method Orange, they're falling behind on defensives. This is a different team from Casca's Angels. Their damage is so much higher this match. At least it feels that way. They've managed to burn so many defensive cooldowns. Incarnation is rolling now. Cedar doesn't have adaptation. Casca's Angels are showing signs of life. The next crowd control on Cedar could close the game out. We see a bash. Milkman needs this to make it. his way in there. He needs to get to Sidu, but he's still too far away. Sidu with perfect positioning, even on the small map, is using the starting room corner to try and duck as far away as possible, but they can't stall the crowd control out any further. Sam I am is in a 2v3 here. Cyfoxy gets cloned away. He pre earthen wall totem. Nice read by Sidu. That's allowing Sam I am to soak a lot of this damage, which would have otherwise ended the match. Uh, I really feel like Casca's Angels, they wasted that attempt attacking and crowd controlling through the earthen shield totem. Sidu preemptively used it. They had plenty of time to just wait, play it patient, wait for the trap, wait for the fear, and they could have easily taken Sam I am down. On the other hand, now that they just wasted all of their damage into that cooldown, wasted their go. Now Sidu has the adaptation once again, and Method Orange just looking to get aggressive. Yeah, 55 seconds on Sam I Am's in incarnation. And to be honest, Trill has been missing and not even going for a lot of mana rifts, which is why Milkman 
Milkman's mana is so much higher. Trill, ne Trill needs to focus up on that front because if he's not landing those, Milkman's team is going to extend for a longer match. And I think at that point, they definitely have a win condition. Mana's tied this game, which is completely different than the last two matches. Cyfoxy in a bit of danger here as Milkman's crowd controlled. He may have to trade. He chooses not to. Milkman ducks around the corner there of that wall, avoiding the Cyclones. Freezing trap secured, but he pre earthen wall totems again. Sidu is inside the heads of his opponents. Yeah, Sam Lam's going to survive because of that, but still a lot of what? pressure as he gets lower and lower. He needs to get in the line of sight of Sidu to connect some heals. Milkman still has the Dark Archangel. They still have a kill opportunity here. Sidu, no adaptation for another 10 seconds. I don't think Casca's Angels really has the crowd control to push through right now, but I just really want to see them be more patient attacking into Earthen Shield Totem. It's just such a key, strong defensive that Method Orange has. If they're just a little bit more patient, and they can take Sam Lam down much sooner. Trill into the stun. Milkman making his way across, trying to go downtown for a psychic scream. Gets denied by Sam I am with that bash, but still a lot of damage. Cedar's mana isn't looking too good this game. If Milkman can hang on a little bit longer, nice double psychic scream. This could pull Barkskin. They really want to get that. They get it. Now they need to make sure that if they pre than wall happens, they don't. There's pre than wall. Way before the freezing trap was even available, he gets mind controlled out of it. Luckily, gets purged off by Sidu. Man is still tied this game. If there was any game here that Casca's Angels could take, it would be this one. They need the freezing trap. They get it. Earthen Wall Totem is going to be fading as they need to kill Samayam in these next couple seconds. Trill denies the kill with Darkness. Good teamwork from Trill. Now Cy Foxy on the back foot. This mana rift is going to be landed. That's almost the last bit of mana for Milkman. How much longer can Dilly keep his dreams alive? Yeah, Casca's Angel, though. Cyfoxy, he has the incarnation. Method Orange, they don't have the darkness available. Cyfoxy's looking to get really aggressive once that's up, but he's caught into the full bash. They might be able to take him down here. Mana Rift going to be used a little bit weirdly by Trill. I think he dropped on Cyfoxy, so not going to be able to get that off, but Milkman's completely tapped on mana, so doesn't really matter either way. He just wants to burn Cyfoxy's mana, so he can't throw the off heels out. Cyfoxy's still in so much trouble. All right, there's the bash. Psychic scream attempt by Milkman. If, if they get a kill, it needs to be here and now. But Samai Cyfox is the one on the back foot. It could be a cross kill, potentially. Sidu drops that Spirit Link totem. He knows momentum is in their favor. They've got Milkman on the ropes with no mana. Cyfoxy with no cooldowns. He's on the run. Will he make it out alive is the question. Is Casca's Angels have nothing left. They're battling it out. They want to make it to BlizzCon. They might pull off the Miracle. There's an opening here. But the pre earthen wall totem again from Sidu. They might control him. That gets interrupted. Nice job. Samai still low. Cyfoxy low. Milkman's got nothing. Everybody on Casca's Angels is in trouble. Can Milkman pull off the miracle is the question. Add up up in 10. Do they have a freezing trap before that point? Doesn't look to be the case and Milkman's tournament dreams are just dwindling away as they make a swap. Tons of pressure. Solar beam, eye beam combo, but Milkman denies the kill for a couple more seconds. He's hanging on, but he doesn't got much to work with and with Trill doing so much damage, there's no way he's making it out alive. Method Orange assert dominance, advancing 3-0. Method Orange will advance to tomorrow's Upper Bracket Championship feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament. Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.